Hello, Maple Leafs fans. Welcome back to Toronto Maple Leafs News Now. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all the latest news about our team. Now, let's dive into today's intriguing story. As the season drew to a close, the Toronto Maple Leafs made a significant trade, acquiring Connor Dewar from the Minnesota Wild in exchange for Dmitry Ovchinnikov and a sixth-round pick in the 2026 NHL entry draft. Since joining the Leafs in mid-March, DeWar has proven to be a solid player, though not a prolific scorer. He underwent shoulder surgery after the season, but is expected to be ready for training camp in September. DeWar suited up for 17 regular season games with the Maple Leafs in 2023-24. In those games, the 25-year-old center scored one goal and added four assists, averaging 12.54 of ice time per game. Despite ending the season on a 14-game goal drought, Dewar is expected to play a role in the bottom six for the 2024-25 season. Team wanted him back and successfully avoided arbitration by signing him to a one-year contract worth $1.18 million. Comparing Connor Dewar with Kala John Kroc. Dewar and Kala John Kroc bring different strengths to the Maple Leafs. Dewar, a 25-year-old center, adds a physical edge to the team, evidenced by his 94 hits in 57 games with the Wild before joining Toronto. On the other hand, John Kroc is a versatile forward who can play both center and wing. He's known for his adaptability and balanced skill set, contributing both offensively and defensively. John Kroc's ability to fill various roles on the ice makes him a valuable asset. However, Dewar's physicality and younger age offer a different dynamic. Dewar may be more effective in defensive and checking roles, while John Kroc's versatility and experience provide flexibility in various on-ice situations. It's an interesting contrast in styles, but both players add value to the team. Comparing Dewar's time in Toronto with his time in Minnesota, Dewar's time with the Maple Leafs hasn't been filled with high stats, but a comparison with his tenure in Minnesota reveals his potential. In 57 games with the Wild, Dewar averaged 11-17 of ice time scoring 10 goals and 4 assists. This is a much more substantial offensive contribution than what he has shown in Toronto. Despite his 5, 10 and 177 pound frame, he has demonstrated physicality through the number of hits he has registered over the past two seasons and played a crucial role in penalty kill situation. On the other hand, John Kroc, slightly bigger at 5, 11 and 186 pounds, has been a versatile player for the Maple Leafs. Former coach Sheldon Keefe utilized him in various positions in the lineup. John Kroc showcased offensive ability, scoring 20 goals in 73 games during the 2022-23 season and 10 in 52 games in 2023-24. While effective offensively, he averaged fewer hits per season than Dewar and wasn't considered a physical player. John Kroc's role diminished in the playoffs, with reduced ice time and no points in seven games. Finishing with a minus 2 rating, comparing Dewar and John Kroc, the former demonstrates comparable effectiveness, with John Kroc showing slightly better offensive production due to his additional playing time alongside star players. Despite the similarities in defensive responsibilities between Dewar and John Kroc, the new team leadership may prefer Dewar's physical game. Dewar is 25 years old compared to John Kroc who is 33. John Kroc also commands a higher salary with a $1.2 million cap hit per season, which could represent an additional player. If the Maple Leafs believe they can benefit equally from Dior's presence in the lineup, John Kroc might become an attractive pickup for another team. From our perspective, he is reliable and adds value to the lineup. Currently, exceeding the league's salary cap by a small margin, the Maple Leafs could alleviate some cap pressure by replacing John Kroc with Dewar. By moving John Kroc, who has consistently scored around 20 goals in the past two seasons, the team could acquire draft picks to bolster their prospect pipeline, offsetting recent draft capital losses. A new coach's choice between Dewar and John Kroc. The acquisition of Dewar presents an opportunity for the Maple Leafs to optimize the roster and the team's financial flexibility, potentially leading to strategic moves that enhance competitiveness in the coming season. With the change in head coaches from Keith, Craig Berube, there is likely to be a shift in player utilization and preferences. John Kroc's deployment under Keith included top six minutes when needed. He primarily played on the third line when the lineup was healthy and his flexibility made him a valuable resource under Keefe's system. On the other hand, Dewar brings a different style of play to the team. 
characterized by his physicality and agitation. He is also valuable. Although Dewar didn't significantly contribute offensively in his first season with Toronto, his scoring ability in Minnesota suggests potential for secondary scoring in a bottom six role. Rube's new coaching strategy might favor Dewar's physicality over John Crock's versatility, potentially leading to a lineup change that sees Dewar taking on a more prominent role. The upcoming season will reveal whether Barube's approach leverages Dewar's attributes over John Crock's adaptability. So Maple Leafs fans, what do you think about Connor Dewar's potential impact on the team? Should he take on a more significant role? Or should John Crock's versatility be prioritized? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Toronto Maple Leafs News Now for more exciting updates. Go Leafs!